we have our first snake of the night. Here we go. This is why I ran out here. It's a dark one. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, there's two. Yes. I'm a genius. It's late September, and I have not seen a marbled salamander yet, which is different than the past two decades of my life because I've been traveling so much with the business. So, had a free morning before the day gets going. I'm gonna spend a few hours out in South Jersey and see if I can turn up a salamander or two. We're at our first stop. Check out the new whip. This thing's a beast. I gotta be honest, it is dry. I don't know that I'm gonna find anything. I had to run back to the car need this this time of year i'll show you why later i think my best bet is going to be big pieces like this so hopefully there's like some moisture under them that's not looking good though stuff like this could work because it could be some moisture trapped in it everything is so dry the vernal pools are empty yeah see how like this is all dry damn I'm going to try and maximize my time here and just, I'm going to put the camera down and flip and flip and flip whatever I can find to see if we can turn up anything. All right, well, this seemed like it might have held a little bit of moisture and I've unearthed a marbled salamander. That was our target species down here. Marbled salamander, Ambistoma opacum. The neat thing about these guys is they are fall breeders, which means that when the rains come in late, August and September, they will start moving towards their vernal pools. And this helps them to survive, their eggs to survive, and not be out-competed by tiger salamanders, spotted salamanders, depends on where they're at, you know, and what other salamanders are spring breeders in their area. So I'm pretty sure I lucked out, because like, like this type of stuff, like discarded clothes, and I know it's gross, but like it holds moisture, which can be really good, but like just look at how dry all this is. Oh. Yeah, that's dry. This is like money for flipping these. This is just bone dry. One thing to remember when you are flipping, even trash, like if you want to be able to come back to it and find things, always put it back where it, you got it, especially with natural, like rocks and logs and that sort of thing. Be good to nature and it will be good to you. Let's try and have some integrity when we're out here looking for animals. Been coming here for 20 years and I've never seen anything this low. I didn't realize how bad the rain was here. This is not good. Wow. This is sad as if the vernal pools aren't low enough. You got off-roaders just ripping through them, decimating the populations of animals that use these every year. Little baby fence lizard just running around on a log. Okay, so this one looks a little deep. Oh, there we go, there we go. Oh, there's two. So what I'm actually going to do before I leave is I know where the salamanders are. I'm going to go get some filtered water from my car or maybe just find a, a bottle and scoop it right from the vernal and kind of pour it on them and underneath and let some of that moisture seal get back in just so like I don't feel like I'm doing anything detrimental to them because again, I did not expect it to be this dry. These are probably the best bet. See how it's still dry, but I bet it's wet under here. Oh, wow. It is not, but I'm gonna to stick to looking for things like these because there's a tiny bit of moisture. If I can move this one, maybe we'll get lucky here. A few moments later. All right, so there we go. One, two, three, four, as you can see. I already flipped this, but I just wanted to show you. Like, look at this little guy, little baby, just hanging on with this moisture. Wow, so, all right, so this particle board is never good for anything. Wow, okay but it's holding moisture, look at that. And they're taking advantage of it. This guy's slimy, see this? Ugh, that'll be on my fingers for the rest of the day. That's a defense mechanism. Let me see if there's anything under this. Nice and easy. Oh, <laughs> and two little ones. Very nice. Oh, and a little toad. Oh, sorry, buddy. Little, little toad. Remember I was telling you about that defense mechanism? Look at it, ugh. Just everything sticks. Well, I'd say mission accomplished, and I have not had to use this yet, at least. I haven't seen anything yet. I found a bottle and I ran back to uh, all the marbles that I thought I flipped in way too dry of an area and just dumped a little bit of water on them. So I'm gonna go see if I can find a few snakes. I had to rip this thing up. And we got our first snake of the day, a southern ringneck. 
see the broken ring around the head. And if I flip this over, there's going to be some belly dots. That distinguishes the southerns from the northerns. And now this is an intergrade zone. Where are you going, buddy? But, oh, and there's not that many belly dots, to be quite honest. Huh, look at that. Not too many. Well, that tells you it's an intergrade zone. So these are a harmless snake other than my hand's going to smell like complete ass. They like salamanders. They probably like worms sometimes, invertebrates. I'm not going to flip this and see if he can work his way under this one. There you go. Oh, that was easy. All right, so right next to it is this big one. I'm going to put the phone down and attempt to get this one up. It's back-breaking work for nothing, I'll tell you. Oh, man. We're on the board with our first snake. Let's see what else we can get. Here we go. This is why I ran out here. It's a dark one. So I have seen a bunch of dirt bikes here. Hopefully this guy doesn't play dead. There you go, buddy. Just keep it moving. It's like the assholes like this, like really suck. It's like, dude, did they do this as an insult? Like a big F you? <laughs> Seriously. I haven't been here in forever. It's looking pretty overgrown, so let's see if we can find some trash. There's like pieces of old boat buried back in here and stuff. Just ignore the fact that I'm probably getting hammered with chiggers right now. Every time I feel the wind blowing my arm hair, I think they're all over me. I hit my first seed ticks. This is why I've, I've kind of avoided the pines this year. It's been so nice to live without my ankles on fire. But yeah, look at them all, they're spread out. Here's to hoping the spray's working because I don't know how long they've been around. All right, let's try a different spot. Here's a story on this really quick. I think about this spot every single year and usually I think about it and I'm like, ah, oh, shit, it's the middle of October. And then I get down here and I found fine racers, worm snakes. But this place looks so good to me for Coastal Plains milk. And I'm finally here, I think it's, it's September 22nd. This at least gives me a shot at like some babies or something, I just wanna prove it out. Stop releasing your balloons. This is really big and has such promise, but it's not like laying flat. I don't know, sometimes you see box turtles under here, or I've never seen them here, but under things like this. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> yes, I'm a genius. They like to huddle under here, not tight to the ground, but they kind of have like a cave going on. Man, he's got some beat up shell to him. Looks like something was chewing on him. That was disappointing, I just went through this whole thing and nothing. Every year I have high hopes. A little Fowler's toad. Definitely dark. What the hell? Oh, oh, oh shit. A red belly. A red belly just came out of the leaves. That was pretty cool. I was looking for a little brown skink, but, but this works. Let's see if we can show you the belly. I promise I'm not hurting it. It's just trying to get away. And this is Steraria occipitomaculata. I thought I found a box turtle, but he's long gone. It's dusk. We have our first snake of the night, a timber rattlesnake. Probably a young male, beautiful. All right, <laughs> we have a beautiful corn snake. 